Nagushka, you're already one meal a day. And ba- Nagushka, I'm sorry to hear it. Snacking is, is good, but tell you the truth, from everything I've read, we eat too much food anyway. All right? So one large meal a day should be sufficient. Uh, it's actually supposed to be healthy. And then snacking throughout the day is supposed to be uh, the way it should be done. Okay, That's something I looked into a lot in the past. And that's one of the ways I was able to get into a better physical uh, health condition because I uh, I reduced the amount of food I was taking in like at one point in my life I weighed 210 pounds right and I realized that was nasty so I dropped 30 pounds right it took a few months but I decided to have a better relationship with food right and got my life together and now I weigh around 180 pounds Okay. Right now I'm a little bit chubbier, 185 pounds maybe, because I've been eating a lot of sourdough bread my partner's been making. Okay. Pond. E- eating too much ages us much faster, yeah. There is only a handful of correlations between longevity and uh, good health, right? Uh, eating less is one of them. Less than what Western world consumes anyway. It takes energy energy to consume food. You need, just like anything, like for example, a lot of people eat all the time, right? And think of your body as a machine, okay? Machines do need rest time, okay? You need to flush the system every now and then. That's why fasting is really important as well. Fasting is actually extremely good for your health, okay? So just imagine, compare yourself to a car, if your car is running all the time, it's going to break much faster than if you, you know, drive it and then when you park it, turn it off. You change the oil. When you turn it on in the morning or whenever you're turning on, let it heat up before you start driving, right? Don't abuse it. 